Hi guys, we are continuing to design robot for an accounting system for healthcare application by using Blue Prism RPI. If you really like this video, you please subscribe it and you please refer to our friends. Thank you. Go to Blue Prism. So if you observe here in the last uh, few videos, like you know, we captured or we teach to Blue Prism about we teach the application to Blue Prism with the help of like a Win32 spying mode. Now we are going to see like a you know, region mode. I'm create like a new action. Let's let me save it. Now close this. And create a new business object. So that is accounting system. Okay, healthcare. So using region mode. And open this business object. And go to action. And open an application model. Click on next. And select the first radio button that is Windows application. And again, choose the first radio button that is my application launched from an executable file. Browse. Then go to desktop. Then choose an application. Then click on next again. Finish. Click on launch. Then click on identify. And if you press alt button, we will switch to spying modes, region mode, win32 mode, accessibility mode. Now I am using like region mode. Okay, highlight the application and then capture it. Now you can see the blue prism capture the entire application. And then now we are going to create in the form of like regions. So click on region. And assign a name for this one. Okay, let's let us say like a username. So input apply and click create one more region for password. So hyphen input then apply now create one more region. So login and click on apply and OK and make sure so highlight it now it's able to identify the blueprint or well, application element so highlight then login and highlight so so far the blueprint is able to identify all elements. Click on apply and then OK. So close an application and rename it to so login to application. And drag and drop on navigate search here. And then drag and drop the root one and select the an action launch. Assign a name for this one. Launch application. And in surface automation or in a region mode, the writer stage won't work. So obviously we have to use like global send keys and global send keys events by using like a navigate stage. Okay, if you use like a and to do this one. So we require like two inputs, one is username and one is password. So username and the data type is text and 
So initial value is an Aditya and go to like you know, I will open another data item that is password. Then select the data type is password and then type in password is an Aditya. And then okay, we'll try to use like a right stage, we'll see the result. And if you remember in under Win32 mode of launch an application, we straight away send an input to an application by using like a right stage. But in reaction mode, we'll see one of so input. So link the stages. So it's giving us an error like a fail to perform step one in right stage writer one on page like a login to an application can't write to a region. So if you observe here the blue button won't write or you can't write any like information in a region. So obviously so we have to use like you know global send keys or global send key events. Okay delete it and drag and drop on navigate stage and drag and drop username input and choose an action like global mouse click center I'll send a name for this one like a username like cursor and drag and drop one more navigate stage and drag and drop the root one and select an action like a global send keys and go to an expression chooser drag and drop username here so username so input and drag and drop one more navigate stage okay here let me try to use like a right stage and map it like a password and again password so link it so here we are not using any wait stage we'll see if it requires we'll have like a wait stage so run it So far, the blue person is able to send inputs to an username field and we'll see like an error message and you can see like internal exception that is failed to perform step one in right stage like a writer one on page log into an application can't write to your regions. Okay, then okay delete the writer stage and drag and drop navigate stage and drag and drop password input element here and choose an action like global mouse click center the password okay cursor and drag and drop one more navigate stage and drag and drop the root one and choose an action the global send keys and drag and drop the password and assign a name for this one password so input then click on ok and drag and drop one more navigate stage for login action and drag and drop login element here and choose an action like a global mouse click center or click center it doesn't matter and now, now I'm using a like global mouse click center like so click on the action so link all stages so reset it it is showing like a zero errors
then run it. So if you observe here without wait stage it's working fine in object studio and once we expose this object to like a process studio sometimes it may not work and again if you observe this application get onto this stage So if you observe here, the blue prism training, it is showing like in system date means like today's date. Suppose if you try to work in like in tomorrow's date, it won't work. So that's why like we will change this uh, attribute. So go to application modeler, you can reset it, and then go to like system, you can user, like username input, like a element, and here you can see like a window text is a blue prism training hyphen like today's state. Now I'm going to change it to like a wildcard attribute. And change this attribute like wildcard. Then give it an asterisk and will allow us like a any date. Apply and apply the same process for other one to all elements. Okay, change it to wildcard. And it allows any date then go to like password field okay check it other attributes okay, right and change it to like wildcard apply and then go to login So here also change it or else we can use like instead of changing it to you know every element we can use uh, for copy element mask and paste element mask. Okay I'll show you like what is copy element mask. So like this and give a right mouse click on here copy element mask and then paste it. And then it works for any dates. Okay, thank you for watching. Please stay with us in next video. We're going to see, uh, I mean, like global send key events in, um, we'll try to work with local, like a global send key events in region mode. Thank you.